I saw this painting when I was very young. Um, I think it must have been a school tour. I, I just uh, found myself completely compelled. She's so beautiful, Hazel Lavery is so beautiful, and her clothes were so sumptuous and so stylish, and that it had that kind of, you know, sort of Cinderella bland uh, or something. The faces were so expressive. And I asked a little bit about it, and I was told that the girl leaning at the piano was not Hazel's daughter, that that was her stepdaughter. And the little small girl, Alice, sitting beside her was her daughter. And it really, it looked like that. I felt that somehow they had been painted from the inside out, and that I was learning something about them, their relationships, and I, there seemed to be great sadness about it as well. And I, I really felt that Eileen, who was separated from Hazel and Alice was that that was kind of their relationship that they she was more separate and perhaps not as loved maybe that's what girls look for in paintings they're looking for uh, explanation or a narrative a story or an explanation of a relationship or something and I suppose the other thing is the size as well it's an enormous painting you know it's massive it's called the artist's studio um, but it's obviously a, a studio, a, a room of such huge and elegant proportion. It's not what we normally consider as an artist studio. They're always supposed to be sort of cluttered and, and um, busy places. And this is a cute kind of almost meditatively... Did I have too many T's in that? <laughs> oh, it seems just calm and grand and um, the man and his family. I think probably, again, sort of the sensitivities of an older artist making that kind of very calm statement. It was the first time, I suppose, that I ever had an idea that a painting represents more than just what you see, that it can be evocative, that it can present an atmosphere more than just shapes and colors, that it moved me on the inside and made me, made me think In discovering music originally, like when I was in my teens, and I would find songs that uh, that explained how I was feeling in words that I didn't have yet myself. Um, and I think the same thing about truly, truly amazing work can just make you feel connected to the world in a different way.